Hello, television viewers! Alright, I guess we're going with that. My name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel. I am so excited today. And I know I'm excited every day, but that's just because every day is exciting. When I hear myself say things like that, it makes me think that if I were a dog, I would be the kind of dog who gets hit by a car. And maybe one day I will be that dog. Science, we don't know. But until then, I am just plain old human excited because today we will be making our own lipstick and blush. It's crazy how all of these toys designed for young girls are also really appealing to me. What, what is that about? Nobody answer that. We'll deal with that later. The point is, I am so jazzed about this because it has always been sort of a secret dream of mine to one day start my own cosmetics line. And it looks like that day is coming just a little bit sooner than we thought. This is the Project MC Square Crayon Makeup Science Kit. You can see it comes with everything you need to melt together some lipsticks and create a little palette there. This girl has some marbling going on with both. Wait though, do you guys not know what Project MC Square is? Project MC Square is actually a brand that I have been watching on YouTube for as long as I've been making videos. I'm fascinated by this brand because it's actually a Netflix series that seems to have only been created to sell toys, but it's actually kind of a cool concept in some ways. So Michaela McAllister is like a 14 year old super genius slash spy because of course, and she teams up with three other super smart girls and they join together to create a spy squad of some sort. There's a lot of talk lately about how we need more females in science and I completely agree with that. So I guess every episode of Project MC Square revolves around the steam fields. I've never actually seen the show Project MC Square, but I did watch a compilation of season three's cutest moments, and I gotta say, they were cute moments. But also, nobody that I knew when I was 14 had eyebrows this f***ing fierce. These girls are always completely glammed up, and we're supposed to just act like we don't notice. So anyway, the show is one thing, but it's more of a toy brand than anything. Of course, there are Project MC Square dolls that you have to get, and then there are science kit toys like this. It's like a project that also teaches you some of the aspects of STEAM science. Most of them seem to be just repackaged science experiments that people have been doing in classrooms across the country for decades. Like for instance here, we're melting crayons with coconut oil to make it into a lipstick. People have been doing this on Pinterest and on YouTube for as long as I can remember. So this is nothing new and also nothing that you would need to buy an $18 toy for. But here I am holding it in my hand like a schmuck because it comes with accessories. So that's enough talk. Let's open this up and make some lipsticks. But first, if you're into videos where I unbox toys and play with them, give me a thumbs up so I know that you wanna see more. And if you're new to my channel, please, I would love to have you click that subscribe button so that you never miss new videos from me every weekend where we do fun stuff all the time forever. Let's open it up. Another thing about Project MC Square is that their theme song has such a catchy opening, it will be stuck in your head forever. Project MC Square. Project MC Square. They do an effect, so it's like MC Square. Project MC Square. As you can see, I opened this toy with the patience of somebody much younger. Here's my instructions. Now, I already knew that I would need some ingredients from home. Coconut oil, spoon, baking tray, oven. I don't know for sure, but I doubt I'm gonna be putting anything into the oven. If it really is just melting crayons and coconut oil together, I'm pretty sure a microwave will do the trick, but let's see. That's a crayon wheel. Those are the color. Cute. These are the lipstick tubes, and let's be honest, this is the best part of the whole thing. The fact that you get to make an actual lipstick in a tube. Also, the studded design on these is so cool. Jess suggested in the comments to make a signature Nick color. With this awesome lipstick mold, it looks like I'll be making three signature lip colors. And finally, there is the so-called lipstick compact. Also very cute. All of the items feel really sturdy, so I guess that kind of justifies the price. 
They seem like you could legitimately wash them out and reuse them after this. Most of their kits have an unboxing video on the Project MC Square YouTube channel, which is how I found out about them, where they really go into the science behind all of these experiments. And I'm guessing the show does the same thing. It seems like it's an educational show. I just read through the instructions. It really is as simple as melting one crayon wedge with half a teaspoon of coconut oil and then putting it on your face. The only thing I don't get is that it says to put the ingredients in an oven safe cup and then bake it for three minutes and that's how you melt it. My guess is that that's the toy company's way of sort of making the process more involved and taking a longer time. So we're using the microwave. I've got plastic cups and little cute disposable stirrers. Now the only question is what colors are we gonna make? Maybe we start with the marbled colors first. They smell very waxy. Also, they feel very waxy, like they are not real crayons. Maybe it's just hot in here, but these actually seem a lot more melty than real crayons. So I'm guessing that these have a higher wax content than like Crayola. I'm gonna do one purple crayon, and then in another cup, bright pink color. I think those will look cute swirled together. So now I'm just gonna add roughly half a teaspoon of coconut oil to each of these cups. All the other characters on Project MC Square have the same type of alliteration in their name as Michaela McAllister. And each of them has like a specialty, a part of STEAM science that they're good at. So there's like Brayden Bandwidth, and as you can guess, she's like a technology person. There's Cameron Coyle, I think she's engineering. If I were part of the Project MC Square spy squad, my name would be, hmm, I'm Nicholas Nobody. I do nothing. I've never melted crayons and coconut oil in the microwave before, so I have no idea how long it's gonna take to melt these together, but we'll just wing it and see what happens. Okay, so for the record, it took about a minute and 30 seconds to melt this together. Now I'm just stirring it to make sure there are no lumps of coconut oil. Now the same with the pink. All right, now we gotta figure out a way to swirl these together. I think I'm just gonna try pouring a little bit of each and then mixing them with one of those skewers. There's our pink, and there's our purple, which you can't see yet, but watch when I take this stick. It didn't really give me swirls like I was hoping for, but kind of. Let's try again with the eyeshadow palette. Wow, everything really hardened up again. I have to go remelt it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna sort of add random dollops of each color, try and layer them together. Now, I'll use the stick the surface is slightly uneven. It looks just a little tragic, but I think I'm actually just gonna pop this into the microwave so that it melts down and has a flat surface. Now that seems to have worked. I would have maybe liked a little more swirl action for both this and for the lipstick, but I think I learned some important lessons. So we're gonna try again using the pink and the blue. And in order to properly get the swirl pattern, I'm going to take the melted blue first and sort of swirl it around the outside of this mold as best as I can. So that way I can pour in the pink and we'll still see the blue kind of stripes on the outside, if that makes sense. For the palette, I'll pour in the pink first and then add drops of the blue so that I can mix them together. And that way I think we'll get a better result. Uh, now we're talking, guys. And actually, looking at them side by side, in the palette, they both look swirled nicely, so I'm happy with that. We definitely got the swirl on the lipstick there, you can see on both sides. I only have two crayon colors left, so I guess I'm just gonna mix those into the remaining wells. Now I know I have to work quick. I've melted my orange crayon, so let's just fill up that bullet of lipstick. And now moving on to the eyeshadows. So I'm just going quickly here. I'm gonna mix the blue wax with the light pink wax because I'm panicking. Um, that looks actually pretty good though. Now I'm gonna mix the blue with the purple. I haven't done that before. And I'll actually stir that into one like solid color. Kind of makes, I don't know, what would you call that color? Like a violet? Indigo maybe? Either way, I like it. The green crayon is definitely sparkly. I don't think this one will go on with any pigment. It'll just be like a sparkly gloss. So I'm just pouring that into the remaining well. All right, we did it. <laughs> There's our makeup. Now for the fun part, it's gonna be unmolding the lipstick from these tubes. First, let's take a look at this palette though. It is pretty much in line with anything you would buy at a high-end department store, if you ask me. This is a special keepsake and I'm excited to try it on. So it says to unlatch the mold so that we can gently open up the two sides. Okay. A little bit of a mishap here. Looks like the orange guy wanted to pull apart. The marble one is a little disgusting. Let's try to gently push it out. 
Uh, okay. I mean, sort of. Now let's just squish it into here. That's beautiful. Let's squish it down now. The product is really soft. I'm gonna go ahead and call the orange one a lost cause, which is fine because we only had two tubes to put the finished lipstick in anyway. We've got my two lipsticks and my beautiful makeup palette. Let's try them on. And after trying them on, we'll come up with the shade names for each of these signature colors from the premier collection from Nick Doremio. I'm sorry, Nicholas Nobody, Project MC Squared name. All right, so first up, we will try on this shade. This is the blue and pink swirly one. It sort of has like a wrinkly texture to it, but it's in the tube and the tube is working, so we have that going for us. Here's our first lipstick color, let's try it out. Wow, it has a very oily feel to it. It looks okay in the wide shot, but in this close up, it looks like I have a pink milk mustache or something. It really settles into the lines. I didn't know my lips were chapped, but apparently they are as dry as the Sahara because I feel like you can see actual flakes of skin on my lips, which is weird. So what do we call this shade? Strawberry Milk Mustache. Strawberry Milk Mustache. Strawberry, Strawberry Milk Mustache. mustache. This one is just a little stubby one. We didn't get a whole lot of usable product out of this. This ended up being sort of like a pink on the outside with a purple core. So I have a feeling this is gonna look a lot more purple on the lips. I feel like this one has a better consistency. I think I got the ratio of coconut oil to crayon a little bit better for this one because this is actually similar to a sheer lipstick that you would actually buy. And once that crumbly color started mixing together, it makes sort of a nice natural pink. This is my favorite out of the two tube lipsticks for sure. Looks straight up good on me, don't you think? So the shade name for this one will be sort of like what you would buy in a store. Sort of, sort of like what like you would what buy, you in, a buy in a store. Is that too long of a name? No. Strawberry milk mustache or sort of like something you would buy at the store. Which is your favorite? Oh, got a little chunk there. I would say that that's my best selling shade from my line so far. One cheek, I will use this, which is the first color we put together. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger. Now I'm just going to apply it like a cream blush to the apples of my cheeks. I don't know if you can even tell that I have anything on, so it definitely has like a glisten to it, but otherwise the color is very sheer. I'm gonna call that Gym Sweat. Gym Sweat. Gym sweat. Now I'm gonna put on this other color. Yeah. You can definitely see that color a little bit more, right? That's the winner. Out of these two, this one doesn't really show up, it's too light. This one, as you can see, does give a little bit of something. So the two blush colors that I used were Gym Sweat, we'll call the other one Passing, Passing Gray. Gray. Onto the eyes, I'm gonna use this lilac color on this eye. Ooh. The whole glossy lid thing is a trend right now, so I feel like this is on point. We're gonna call this color Lilac, lilac Blossom, Blossom, which is the name of a Chinese food restaurant that my family likes. Shout out to you, Lilac Blossom. I named a shade after you. You're welcome. Now let's try this green color on the other eye. This one is really soupy, like it did not stand a chance. Let's just slather that on. I'm gonna name this one exactly what it looks like, Eye Booger. Eye booger. eye booger. I mean, they both have their appeal. I like an eye booger once in a while. If I were going to like a music festival or a rave or something, I would wear eye booger. If I was going to meet my, my husband's parents, I would wear lilac blossom because I want them to think that I'm sophisticated. No matter what, on the lips, I'm sticking with sort of like what you'd get in a store. In fact, let's like just really overline our lips a little bit. Now we're getting some of that purple. Yeah. I feel like that will just give me the appearance of a fuller lip. Can I get some more eye boogers on? Yeah. This bright blue color, I'm gonna use that to contour. She has her own makeup line and she applies it indiscriminately. Ugh, oh, look at how glowy I look. It's so crazy. Just like ethereal, otherworldly even. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Slimy faces. That's, That's forever, forever, ever, ever. Well, as I've been known to do, this project turned into me painting my face with a bunch of weird 
That's not to say that I didn't learn something along the way. These products did not come out as high performing as traditional makeup that you would buy at the store, but that's because my brand is like a little different. My brand is really more for like the cutting edge people who are putting products on their face that they shouldn't be. People who don't care about how they look. People with low IQs. People who aren't allowed to drive cars at night because they can't see really well. You know, just like the social disruptors, the shakers and the taste makers, and and the death row inmates, and those are the girls who wear Nicholas Nobody. Project MC Square is an exciting brand. I will say that while it's noble for them to be trying to get young girls into science and engineering, female scientists do more than just make lipstick and perfume. Feel free to weigh in on that below as well. Nicholas, Nicholas Nobody, Nobody, for the girl, the girl who doesn't know doesn't anything. Know anything. So what do you guys think of my homemade makeup? Let me know what your favorite color was in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and lets me know that I should do more toy unboxings. Finally, if you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you click that subscribe button to join the crew of television viewers that helps me put these videos together by letting me know what to do next. I've got some really great stuff coming up, so hit subscribe and you will not miss a thing. Thank you guys so much for watching and helping me develop this new line of makeup for the discerning individual. You guys are all the greatest. I'll see you next time. I'm gonna take a shower. Whoa. Bye. <laughs>